Hey guys, we're back to watch The Walking Dead. The next episode, it should be completely different from last week, which is more, it should be more lax and chill. Yeah, we saw the clip um, during Talking Dead with Carol yeah. in the wheelchair. Um, they're going to be in the kingdom, so I'm excited to see what that's going to be about. Um, it seems pretty utopia-ish based on the little bit we saw. Mm -hmm. It looked nice. I hope it's nice. It should be nice, and I can't wait to meet King Ezekiel and his tiger. Yes. So, yeah. That's exciting. Don't mind me. Don't mind us. We're, like, really tired. If we're not as, you know, happy. happy. <laughs> ra ra sis We're just, no, we're, we're extremely exhausted. So. Yeah, it was a great idea staying out till 4 in the morning. <sighs> Yesterday. For Halloween. Um... I'm just excited for something a little less stressful after last week's game changing, devastating, awful, <laughs> made me really sad episode. But it, you know, it closed something that we were waiting months and months to find out, and it finally yeah. Closed. And now we're like, okay, what are the what is going to happen because yeah, of what's that the now? repercussions of this? We won't find out this episode, but. Do we ever find out exactly after, though, in Walking Dead? No, but it, it makes for a good story. Mm -hmm. It's TV. You, you you know. Yeah. So. That's what's interesting about Walking Dead is that they, they fucking make you wait sometimes. And not a lot of TV shows do. Mm-hmm. They have to give you the answers. Or, like, they pepper in too much and you're like, I already guessed this. You ruined it. So, uh, let's watch. But she was having her whole crisis about she killed too many people. Yeah, yeah, but so. to kill walkers. Are they considered people? They're dead people. Does she have... Girl. <laughs> There's just too many people in the world. <laughs> and the... <laughs> Most of them are dead. That's what I'm saying. There's too many people in the world and the majority of them are dead. So it's just like a never end. I mean, this looks like a nice place to live. But as we have seen before, places are deceiving. I would be so upset if I was a kid during the apocalypse because my ass still would have to go to school. <laughs> like, so, so, are you fucking kidding me? Like you're in a little village and it's just like, okay, time to go to school. You're like... I literally, mom, I killed someone. <laughs> I literally killed a zombie. And now I gotta go to school? And you forgot to say that Ezekiel has a tiger. That's Damn. freaking awesome. I want to see that thing tear something apart so bad. It's probably like kills walkers like crazy. I want to see a scene like that. I know. This can go a couple ways. I think you're amazing. <laughs> oh, we're going this way. And you're Shiva? Oh, okay. it's, it's Shiva. Shiva. Oh. Shiva. <laughs> oh. You know what that reminds me of, though? Hades and Persephone, because when she ate the pomegranate, oh. she got stuck there. And we have a small choir. Thank you. <laughs> okay, you know what this feels like when you've lived on like the north in the northeast your entire life, and then you go down to the south, and everyone's nice and holds the door open for you, and you're like, "Who are these weird people?" Next Well, like in the Bible, Benjamin was very young and. You know, really what's going I, on. I feel like this has a lot to do with um, the Bible and mythology right now. That's cool. Anyway. Did I just miss what happened? Fuck! Oh man. I'll play with the damn pigs. Ooh, he came out of nowhere. Where are they going? Somewhere else. Why? This is all very cryptic. To do what?
It's like, that's a plot point later, so we're not gonna tell you. Exactly. Maybe he has this some, is like, like, it, like, it feels like a video game where it's like, here's hints of things that you're gonna deal with, like, five hours later in the game. The kingdom is favored by your presence once more! This music. There's so much cryptic bullshit happening. But I still like him. Yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> He really tried to punch him. He was like, the bitch, you thought. <laughs> yeah, he was being a little shit. Good. Oh, who are you? God. He just threw the fuck out of me. God. We will discuss this. Why should I do that? He got into a little bit of a tip, but... Produce week, so... Produce. You got the list, not one bit less. How about they produce for them damn selves instead of mooching off people? It's just that even if we did, we wouldn't win. At least not without losing people. Mm-hmm. I guess he's proof of that. Then you think he's right? Then we shouldn't fight? At this point, yes. Well, they join. <laughs> yes, but at this point... Maybe you do. You need me? Holler. I keep an holler in range. This is... <laughs> <laughs> I like you, Jerry. I like a lot of the people in the kingdom. Right now. What's that saying? Never bullshit a bullshit. <laughs> I knew he could see right through. Got my shirt up around the leg. That is dangerous. <laughs> she, she's she got my own theory. After that, she never shows so much mm -hmm. as a tooth in my direction. Like another like legend, like the lion and the like right. mouse, the splinter. She's as much as mm -hmm. I used to act in community theater. Oh, that explains a lot. A that explains a lot. Uh, Ooh, Macbeth's good. Uh, my name really is Ezekiel, though. <laughs> That's 100% real. And if that ain't biblical, I don't know what is. <laughs> At least he's honest. I like the fall moment. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you do what you want. But she's still living. God, Virginia's a fucked up place, man. Wait. You thought Georgia was bad. Imagine New York. Cool. Well, I want to see that, though. What a bad thing. So much of it out there that I know. She doesn't even know that gun's dead. Oh my god. She doesn't know anything. Too much. About what happened with Negan. She knew there was going to be a confrontation, but she ran out before that. Especially when you're alone. What in the hell is in this house? Just like a lot of things just dropped in this episode, like little baby hints. Wasn't there a walker in this episode the last time they were? Yeah, when she walked past, there was oh, a thing banging on the thing. She's like, oh, what a lovely lady inviting me in. Oh. Ain't this a visit? Try one of these. Oh, <laughs> the references. Windows presents scenes from the next 
next episode of The Walking Dead. Oh, dear. They just like to put him through so much angst. You don't scare easy. I mean, he's certainly been through some shit. We're getting more in depth with uh, Negan's. So, what do you think of the episode? It was really good. That we got an understanding and more in depth into the kingdom. You've been hearing about it and stuff, so you're like, "Wow, this is what it's like." And then you find out more about King Ezekiel and how yeah. he came to be what he is, which makes sense about what he said about people and how mm -hmm. they're always looking for someone to follow, which is true. Yeah, I really like Ezekiel. Um, I'm excited to see where he goes. Uh, hopefully good things. Yeah. I mean, he has a pet tiger. That's pretty badass. <laughs> That's pretty badass. Um, this was a nice calm episode. Yeah, it was much appreciated for the last yeah. week's crazy episode where it was just like you didn't mm -hmm. know what was happening next and your chest was all over the place and she kept shaking mm -hmm. and it was annoying me. But it was nice to just like watch and be like, hmm, what is that? And we were, yeah. in the beginning, we were so confused as to what was going on. Which I enjoyed, a curiosity in the episode yeah. of like shows. So, even though it doesn't seem like I enjoy it, because I'm like, what the fuck is going on? But I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, there really seems to be like a shift in the show, moving from less of like the danger of the walkers and more into the danger of the people yeah. that are left. That's probably the most dangerous is the people. Yeah, anyone that's left anymore is like, they're most, it seems like they're somewhat organized at this point. It's not really stragglers surviving outside anymore. It's more different communities. And those communities are vying for resources. Like, they want food, shelter, water supplies that are going to make their community grow and their lives easier and that's going to lead to a lot of problems because it's not just about your one community yeah it's like about it's not about survival anymore it's about living mm -hmm. interesting yeah um there's a lot of references in mm -hmm. ezekiel and with the kingdom just i see a lot about mythology like fables the Bible. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of referential stuff there, specifically, specifically the stuff with like the pomegranates and the apples yeah. is two of the biggest I can tell. Yeah. Like I said, um, with the pomegranate, the Hades and Persephone story, because she ate from the pomegranate in um, the underworld. Think of that word. <laughs> God, in the underworld, and she ended up having to stay there during the winter months, if you know that myth. Yeah. And then obviously. The tree of knowledge and eating an apple from the tree of knowledge. Evil, yeah. All that jazz. <laughs> There's a lot there, and I think it's interesting, and I like all the stuff written on the wall, and I, I think it, um, you, someone can dig, not me, not today, <laughs> can dig a lot deeper into, like, everything and talk about the kind of philosophy of the kingdom and Ezekiel and... But, like, I wonder where did he get his philosophy from? Um... My guess is from like literature and all these tales and stuff because he said he used to be an actor, that at least true. in like part. You know, he mentioned like Macbeth mm -hmm. um, being one of them, King, King Arthur, Arthur uh, all kind of noble, just kings, and he's named after a king himself. Yeah. So, yeah. His hands are really good. I like them. Yeah, I, I'm excited to see where he goes, where the kingdom goes. Um, how the kingdom's going to play into, obviously, the plot with the saviors and Alexandria and how it's going to come. And if they're going to band together against uh, the Negan and the saviors or and how that'll go down if it does. It might take a while, though, if they do yeah. they come to that. Cause, you know. It's not going to be a quick ride. It, or an easy one. Exactly. There's a, a The Walking Dead is a long ride. <laughs> Like, there there will be episodes and episodes where you don't see certain characters. Where it'll just... Because, like, you see here, episodes will focus on just, like, two characters. Like, main characters. And introduce, like, 
new characters or they'll just focus really small mm -hmm. and that happens all the time focus on Daryl like completely and it's not going to show anything else and like halfway you're going to be like can we see something else please just for a little bit but we won't no I kind of think that's an interesting setup, at least with Walking Dead, is because we want to be like, can we get a break from this plot? Can we see something else? And it'll be like, mm, nope, you're, you got to stick with this through <laughs> for the entire episode. There's no going away to something else. Like, there was no cutting to this last week in between mm -hmm. all the drama. Yeah, and true. there's going to be no cutting back to what's going on in the kingdom or even with, I'm assuming, Rick and his crew next week because we're going to be focusing on probably learning about the saviors and where they live and how they function as a society more and we're going to be learning about what the hell daryl's place is going to be in this world and yeah and that'll also set up um the obstacles that um rick and friends will have rescuing mm -hmm. daryl in the future I like um, I like King Ezekiel's right hand man. He's a <laughs> He's very fun. Yeah. It's nice to have like fun characters. Not everything has to be doom and gloom. Mm -hmm. Um, Carol's an A plus bullshitter. Oh, well, he said don't bullshit. Should a bullshitter. bullshitter. Um, when she came with Ezekiel, I was like, this. There's a couple ways this can go. She's either gonna do her act where she pretends. Like she did in the beginning of Alexandria, she's like, I'm just a happy little housewife. Because she can very easily fall into roles, and that tricks people very easily. Because, oh, what are they going to expect this, like, middle-aged, graying woman to pull out on them? And kill their ass. But she will if you cross her. I'm excited to see what she's going to be involved with with Ezekiel. Um, and where that's kind of going to go, because she left, but she didn't really leave. But she's as close said. enough to where he can walk with Sheba to visit the yeah. door. With a pomegranate. One day she's going to eat, eat it, possibly. Those are not easy to open. Nope. <laughs> they did say that. Oh. It's just going to, well, no one, you know what was great about this episode? <laughs> no living person died. That way, yeah. That was beautiful, it was just walkers. I'm ready to see uh, where Benjamin's gonna go because I feel like Ezekiel has more of a plan than just he was the son of a trusted friend. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like he has some other plan for what he wants Benjamin to do. Um, maybe it's something with being like a tacticianer or maybe one day taking his place Possibly. because Benjamin is obviously very well read. He said he's read every book they had twice. Mm -hmm. uh, and he seems like he very much wants to learn new things. Well, he does. Yeah, and it's a, it'll be interesting to see where, uh, if he continues training with Morgan and how that goes. So I feel like he has a bigger plan in all this eventually. Yeah. So that should be interesting to see. Yes. Thanks for watching. Let us know how you felt about this episode in the comments. <laughs> and we'll see you next week. Hey guys, we're back to watch Walking Dead. The next episode, it should be completely different from last week, which is more, it should be more lax and chill. Yeah, we saw the clip um, during Talking Dead with Carol yeah. in the wheelchair. Um, they're going to be in the kingdom, so I'm excited to see what that's going to be about. Um, it seems pretty utopia-ish based on the little bit we saw. Mm -hmm. It looked nice. I hope it's nice. It should be nice. I can't wait to meet King Ezekiel and his tiger. Yes. So, yeah. That's exciting. Don't mind me. Don't mind us. We're like really tired. If we're not as, you know, happy. happy. <laughs> ra ra sis boom just, We're just, no, we're, we're extremely exhausted. So. Yeah, it was a great idea staying out till four in the morning. <sighs> yesterday for Halloween. Um, I'm just excited for something a little less stressful after last week's game changing, devastating, awful, <laughs> made me really sad episode. But it, you know, it closed 
something that we were waiting months and months to find out, and it finally yeah. Happened. And now we're like, okay, what are the what is going to happen because yeah, of that? Yeah, what's the now? repercussions of this? We won't find out this episode, but do we ever find out exactly after though in Walking Dead? No, but it, it makes for a good story. Mm-hmm. It's TV, you 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 know. Yeah. So that's what's interesting about Walking Dead is that they they fucking make you wait sometimes. And not a lot of TV shows do. Mm -hmm. To give you the answers. Or like they pepper in too much and you're like, I already guessed this. You ruined it. So, uh, let's watch. But she was having her whole crisis about she killed too many people. Yeah, yeah, but to kill walkers. Are they considered people? They're dead people. Does she have... Girl... (laughs) <laughs> There's just too many people in the world. <laughs> and the, most of them are dead. That's what I'm saying. There's too many people in the world and the majority of them are dead. So it's just mm-hmm. like a never end. I mean, this looks like a nice place to live. But as we have seen before, <laughs> places are deceiving. I would be so upset if I was a kid during the apocalypse because my ass still would have to go to school. <laughs> like, someone, so, are you fucking kidding me? Like, you're in a little village and it's just like, okay, time to go to school. You're like, I literally, mom, I killed someone. <laughs> I literally killed a zombie and now I gotta go to school? That's. Freaking awesome. I want to see that thing tear something apart so bad. It probably like kills walkers like crazy. I want to see a scene like that. I know. This can go a couple ways. I think you're amazing. <laughs> Oh, they're going this way. And you're Shiva? Oh, 